Hello, Shopify has recently released a new feature called Market in their admin panel. In this video, we will describe how you can use Market option within your Shopify store. It will help you to enable multiple currencies in your store, enable multiple language and many more features. So now let's check how you can enable markets in your Shopify store. Now I am in the Shopify backend. So from here we have to go to settings and we can click on the markets. And you can see that my primary market right now is United Arab Emirates. So now in this video I'm going to add Saudi Arabia to my market. So by default I am selling only in United Arab Emirates. So I'm going to add Saudi as a new market for my store. So just click on add market and I'm going to enter the market name as Saudi Arabia and I'm going to select Saudi from this list and done and save it. Now I can see all these details for the Saudi market. Okay, so what all details I'm, I need to customize for the Saudi, I can do that from here. So if you go back, you can see United Arab Emirates and Saudi as a second market so uh, like before we start I'm telling that uh, in UAE or in the GCC region we don't have the Shopify payment so some of the features won't work within this region but I'll just tell you what all features you can use in markets within the region so just click on the manage and I can see the domain and language so just click on manage and I can define different domain or subdomain or subfolder for the Saudi market. Okay, this will help you in SEO or other digital marketing parts. So here I'm going to enter the I'm just going to select the subfolder. So that means like if someone comes from Saudi, I'll be able to see my store name and the store URL and ending with the EN as English and SA for Saudi. And if I need to ask uh, Saudi Arabia is having more Arab speakers or uh, Arab, so I'm just going to select Arabic as default language. So just click on the Arabic and set as default. If you are not able to see Arabic here, you have to go to shop languages and you have to add that from here. Okay, so you can add a new language as Arabic. And it will show there. Okay, so let's go back to the markets now and to the domains. So here I'm I can see Arabic and English. So I can enable this one and I'm going to make Arabic as the default and I'm going to save it. So if someone comes from Saudi, I'll be able to they will be able to see uh, the store in Arabic okay that's why it's showing like this so now I just set up Arabic and English for Saudi market and I'm going back and I'm going to the second option for currency and phrasing just click on the manage and I can see the Saudi currency here like the Saudi real and the price adjustments or oh, if I need to round it or if I need to increase some uh, percentage I can just do that so it will increase over the price by two percentage okay and uh, i'm just going to save it and next option as i said you this option won't be available within the region okay because if your store is uh, is uh, from uae or in saudi or from kuwait or anything you won't be able to adjust or you won't be able to control this option it's only available for the shopify stores which supports shopify payments now we are going to duties and import just click on manage and i can add different duties for saudi so for that i'm going to duties and imports and i'm going to select the countries okay here i have only added four countries so i'm just going to create a new shipping role i'm going to create for saudi okay and save it now I'm going back to the markets 
just say again to the manage and and just click on this select and I can select the country for collecting the duties okay just click on this and I can update the details like if I need to update because this all this are automatically from the Shopify so if you want to add this one I can just enable this one I'm just going to enter all this data I'm not going to check anything here and I'm going to activate so you are collecting the inbound duties in one countries okay so now just go back to markets just click on manage here I can see the tax collection part okay or the duty collection part this was one big issue what the UAE store owners were having before for shipping to show, uh, Saudi so by using the markets you can do this one and remember this option is only available in Shopify advanced plan okay and now I'm going to enable the shipping part go to shipping and I can enable the shipping because I have already enabled the shipping for Saudi so I shall be here okay just add a rate for Saudi and just save it so now I add the shipping rate for Saudi just click on manage again and we are in the shipping and we have done with we are done with the shipping okay and now let's go to the payments okay so this is another important feature that you can use so for example if you are having a specific payment gateway for a specific country you can add this one from here okay taxes also I can do that from here so I'm collecting the duties for the Saudi market so if I need to enable something for uh, the all the prices include tax I can do that from here and just save it okay so markets will help you to add all the features all the uh, localization features from one part okay so this is how it works